Good morning, welcome back to another worship. We are still thinking about friendship and this week our worship is about making time for each other. Our welcoming words. This day may we know the wisdom of God the Father, the friendship of God the Son and the guidance of God the Holy Spirit. Today we're thinking about the way that our friendships are strengthened by spending time with each other. I'm going to show you a picture. It's going to come up on the screen so you can pause so you can have a look at it. I want you to look at the picture. It's by an artist called Hu Chi. Okay, I think I pronounced that right. Maybe Hu Hu Chi. Who knows? You can correct me. Um, what do you think the man and the two women in the picture are doing? There's your first question. And how do you think they might be feeling? Here's the picture. Pause. Have a chat with the people next to you and your teacher. Off you go. Ha Chi has painted a picture that shows the time when Jesus went to the house of a family who had shown him kindness and friendship. In this family, there was a brother, Lazarus, and two sisters, Martha and Mary. I'm going to read you a story. It's called Jesus Visits Martha and Mary. Martha was keen to give Jesus the best food she could prepare. She busied about in the kitchen, hoping that her sister would come and help. But Mary just stayed with Jesus in the sitting room, listening attentively to everything he said. So Martha carried on alone, making bread, gathering olives, putting dates into bowls, clattering and banging and becoming more and more annoyed that she was having to do all this work by herself. Finally, she lost her temper and burst into the room, shouting and complaining at Jesus. Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work? Why don't you tell her to help me? Martha, you are stressed and anxious about so many things, said Jesus. But there is only one thing here that is really important. Mary has chosen wisely to use her time to be with me and listen to me whilst I am here with you. It's the best thing she could be doing. Jesus loved Martha and Mary equally. Martha was trying to help, but Jesus wanted both sisters to make time for their friendship to grow. We're going to reflect. I'd like you to place your hands in your lap as you sit with your back straight. Try and be as still as you can be. Close your eyes and imagine that you are sitting in a room with Jesus. What do you think he might say to you? What would you like to ask him? Take a couple of minutes, think about those two questions, pause me and have a conversation with your teacher and with your friends. What do you think he might say to you and what would you like to ask him? Can you see in the picture that the artist He Chi has painted the shape of a dove coming upon Mary? Have a think and have a talk with the person next to you. Why do you think he's done this? Here's a challenge for you this week. If you want to, draw yourself a dove on a piece of paper and cut it out so that you've got a dove shape. It might be that you can print one off or your teacher can help you with that if you want to. Take, take one of those doves that you've cut out and write on it or draw on it the place that you go to be quiet and to find peace or to pray. Just take a minute, think about that place. Where would you go? What place would you write on your dove? We're going to finish with a prayer about friendship. You can have a look at your candle, you can close your eyes, you can pop your hands together. Dear God, thank you for our friends and family and thank you so much for friendship, a true gift and something very beautiful. Help us to cherish the relationships we have with family, friends and people we know. Help us to be kind to all we meet. Lord, help us to build strong, lasting friendships through mutual trust and kindness, respect, care and love. When we face difficulties in our relationships, God, 
Give us all the strength, patience and grace we need. Help us to care for everyone around us, whether they are our friend or not. Thank you that Jesus is our friend and we can pray to him and share our worries in life. Help me be the best friend I can be and offer the hand of friendship to new people I meet. Amen. Have a wonderful week, everybody, and I will see you next time.